Hey guys, Martin Ingen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we are doing the discount multi summons on the new Eternal Rivals Goku and Vegeta banner. So due to some unfortunate technical difficulties, my uh, PC decided to crash while we were in the middle of our second multi summon and uh, the footage was not saved so it's lost forever. Uh, which is very annoying because as I'm sure you would be aware you can't really just redo the uh, summons so we're gonna pick up where we left off um, I'll go over the banner and the why we're summoning on it once we've actually finished this second multi and then I will probably finish up with my world tournament ticket summons just to uh, actually get a full video out of it because uh, it's very frustrating but we're part way through the second multi summon we pulled a Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku from the first one. Uh, we are pulling a lot of this SR in Vegeta. So, but yeah, this is definitely a uh, crazy trap banner before the three year anniversary drops. This is the last banner that we will get before we get those three years, most likely, because the other World Warriors one is still around for a bit. This is still around for a bit. And we get another tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So there you go. That was I think we started we started with this Vegeta here, so a little bit almost halfway into that multi summon. So if we back out, so this banner only has Goku and Vegeta units on it. If we have a look at the Scouter, uh, you get one featured SSR per multi summon. So you get the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Uh, there's the STR Spirit Bomb Goku, STR Super Saiyan Rage Goku. AGL Kaioken Goku and then for the Vegetas we have the physical Super Saiyan Blue uh, the int base form from the Boo Saga uh, the extreme physical Super Saiyan 1 who lowers attack and then we have the Great Ape Vegeta um, and then of course there's a bunch of featured SRs as there always is nowadays and of course they are all Goku and Vegeta as well so why are we summoning on this banner? Well, obviously, we always like to do the discounted multi-summons on the support banners uh, because the LRs are always in these banners and uh, whilst their rates are not the best, you can't get the LRs if you don't summon on banners that they're on. So, the good thing about this one is sticking to form and the fact that the only units available on the banner are Gokus and Vegetas, the two LRs that are in the banner are the LR Martian Vegeta and LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku so out of all the LRs that are available I definitely would like to pull dupes for them um, not sure we've obviously only got one multi summon left now but the third 30 stone discount multi summon on the Super Saiyan 3 support banner that came around recently with the brand new Super Saiyan 3 Vegetas was where I pulled my LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku so maybe we'll have used up the LR luck uh, I think maybe the PC crashing might have been a sign that the luck is not on our side but we have one more left and like I say you can't you can't get the LRs if you don't summon on the banners they're on so I'm gonna go in this last time uh, we're not gonna do any of the other multis because they just go back up to standard 50 stones after this and uh, you know we obviously are saving ready for LR Super Vegito and LR Super Gogeta when the three year stuff drops so I've seen some horror stories from other people uh, shout out to Demonty who I know pulled absolute trash from this banner but you know we've all got to try because uh, we want that LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku probably more than anything he's probably my favourite LR in the game now so getting a dupe for him and getting his bottom right path open would definitely be awesome so are we actually going to get anything decent so we get the rage super saiyan goku i think i've only pulled him once so and that was a bonus not the gssr oh we get the strength super saiyan 2 vegeta i didn't even recognize that outline actually for some reason i thought it was going to be the physical one um, I'm not sure if I've even ever pulled this guy so that means he was not the GSSR either so and we get the AGL Kaioken Goku as the GSSR so no luck 
pulling an LR, but like I say, you, you, you kind of have to try if you uh, if you actually want to get them. So, what we'll do now, um, I used a lot of them on my stream while we were going through the World Tournament, but we will go down here and do our couple of our DB Saga summons. Uh, we managed to pull the Jackie Chun and a dupe, so it would definitely be nice if we could get another one. Um, I still also don't have the intelligent Demon King Piccolo, so if we could pull him, that would be pretty awesome as well. Uh, the SSR rate is not the best on the DB Saga banner, though. I'm sure if you have been using any of your tickets, uh, you'll be well aware of that by now. But we managed to pull a few. Um, and we did get the Jackie Chun, I believe the Jackie Chun was second single summon for the first one, so that was definitely a very lucky pull. So, done a showcase on the World Tournament category team with him as the leader, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. Uh, it makes that category actually viable to use on Dokkan events. Maybe not the hardest ones uh, that we have available, I doubt they would probably be able to beat the Ultra Instinct Goku event, but it's a fun team to run, especially because it has units like the LR Goten and Trunks, LR Hercule, and the Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, who are all very decent units. So, another Intelligence Bulma. Let's do two more of these. We're going to be getting our World Tournament rewards um, fairly soon, so we'll probably have a ton more of these to use as well so can we get a, another SSR another bunny bomber uh, I did manage to pull a dupe for the tech demon king piccolo as well who is a very good support unit um, he is on the resurrected warriors category and he is very useful for that I think he has a almost identical passive to the Interles, where he gives key to all allies as well as an attack boost, so he's definitely a solid unit. Another Bulmer. So many Bulmers on this banner. Uh, right, do one of these silver ticket ones. There's quite a few pods. Can this be the one for an SSR? So we Super Saiyan 2. That's <laughs> another bomb. <laughs> uh, so many SR bombers on this banner. Like loads of the R's are the random other characters from Dragon Ball, but so many of the SR's are bombers. So we've got a fair few of these to use before we get our World Tournament rewards. And uh, we have a very special video coming out tomorrow morning, our time, where me and a special guest on the channel are reviewing and rating our top five picks for the best five units from this banner. So make sure you check that out. So we are going to do a couple of these summons. Let's, uh, let's actually get some guaranteed SSRs and see who we can get. Definitely would be interested in a dupe for the AGL Cooler because he is a good support unit for the Extreme AGL. And you guys know I love my Super 17 team, so it'd be very cool to pull one of him. I think I have everyone in the banner, I'm not too sure. But we can't forget that there are, of course, the general SSR pool units are in the banner as well. So we get the old school Intelligence Golden Freezer. So. That is a very odd. I was not expecting that. I kind I completely forgot for a moment that the normal SSR pool units are in here. So it would be very cool to see somebody like Kefla or Marseille come up on one of these. Marseille is a unit that has been in the game for many months now, and uh, after pulling the one copy that I have from the original banner that he came on, I've never pulled another one. So getting a dupe for him would be awesome. Oh, we get the physical Kaioken Goku, okay. So there is a new tech Kaioken Goku coming with the three year anniversary. Um, so in all honesty, I might keep him to use as a Kai for that guy, because we're going to be summoning a lot on those three year banners. So 
are hopefully going to pull enough copies of that guy to get all his paths opened. So one more on the silver tickets. Who's it going to be? Oh, the Intelligence Bardock. Okay, he's actually pretty decent. You know we're a big fan of Bardock on the channel. Uh, he is very useful on the Super Intelligence team since he can seal super attacks. I don't think I've ever pulled a dupe for him, so we will definitely take that. And uh, I will save that other gold one because we're going to get a bunch of gold and silver ones from the World Tournament rewards. So once those of rewards have dropped, I'll probably use the rest of these on another video. I'm obviously planning to do a showcase on that new physical Mighty Mask. I'm pretty sure I finished high enough to get five copies so you can get all his paths opened and I have been farming today as today is tech day so we have a ton of these guys ready for raising his super attack so stay tuned for that showcase so that is going to be it for this video guys this has been the Mars Ningen let me know if you did actually summon on this banner let me know what you pulled down below uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mars Ningen or join the Discord. The link is in the description. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.